us jump into some that you're going to see that are multi-step problems that you may see like on the SAT and things. Okay, find the perimeter of the trapezoid A, B, C, D. And here is our trapezoid. So let me sketch it up here. Hmm, so why are we all of a sudden doing a trapezoid problem in the middle of a triangle unit? I will show you why. Okay, we need to find the perimeter. Well, we don't, we know two sides, but we don't know two sides. So we're going to have to do something to solve for these. Now watch what I'm going to do. Strategically, I'm going to draw in an altitude. I'm going to make this into a rectangle on the left. If I draw that in, what do I know this measurement is here? What is that measurement? That measurement is two. Okay? I don't know this measurement, do I? But I do know that this height has got to be eight, okay? So now I can solve for one of two sides. I can solve for this hypotenuse of this triangle, or I could solve for this leg of this triangle. So let's cover this up for a second and just focus on the triangle. I'm gonna go for, let's just say the hypotenuse first, okay? So I'm gonna take the side of eight, which is my opposite, and my unknown side of, I'll call that C, since that's going to be my hypotenuse anyway, and I'm going to solve for it. So that would be opposite hypotenuse, which is sine. So the sine of 54 is equal to 8 over C, and I'm going to have to do some fancy. This is one of those funky backwards pro or dividing problems. 8 times 1 is 8. The sine of 54. Okay, grab your calculator. The sine of 54 is 0 .8090, 0 .8090 C, divide both sides by 0.8090, and let's see, 8 divided by 0.8090 I don't need that. Gives me 9.8887. So 9.9. .9. Okay, so C is 9.9. .9. Now I'm not done yet, am I? Okay, I've still got to find this segment. Now, I have a choice. Since I have a right triangle here and I know two sides, I could do what? I could use the Pythagorean theorem and solve for the missing side. So option one, I could use the Pythagorean, I like to abbreviate this, theorem, and solve for the missing side. Or option two, I could use another trig function, okay? So you could just set up from here, use eight in the adjacent side, and then use tangent. I'm actually going to just go ahead and use the Pythagorean Theorem. It's a little bit cleaner for me, but you can use a trig function if you so choose to. Okay, so now I'm going to find this portion, and I'll call that A. So I know A squared plus B, which is my 8 squared, is equal to C squared, which is 9.9. .9. So I'm going to get um, C 9.9. .9. 9.9, and I'm going to use my square button. That's 80, uh, 98. 98 is equal to 64 plus a squared. And I'm going to subtract 64, and I'm going to get 34. So a squared is 34. So let's take the square root, which is second function, square root of 34 and I get 5.8. So that's A. Okay, so now from here what I can do is I can now find my perimeter because I can add these two together, the 2 and the 5.8. This whole side is 7.8. I now know this side is 9.9, .9, this side is 2, and this side is 8. I don't need that middle altitude. That's not part of the perimeter of the trapezoid. So let's add all that together. So I'm going to take 8 plus 
2 plus 9.9 .9 plus 7.8 and my final answer is 27.7 .7. so the perimeter is 27.7 .7. And that's how I would get that answer. Again, you can use trig to find this missing side and then solve it. You should get the same answer. Okay, so let's jump on to number six.